All right, today is still the 24th of May, 2019. Well, I hope that if anybody watches this video, they listen to the whole video completely through. I know, and, and I hope I'm not saying this so people get don't like listen want to listen to the video but I I have seen times when I've gotten things from YouTube that uh, where they'll give you a list of how long the duration that people will watch a video and I know that a person will will not watch most of my videos completely through um, so I wanted to touch touch on a topic in this video, and I know people are going to hate that I bring up this topic from the very get-go. The very first topic that I even Googled this article in the first place, people are not even going to like. <clears throat> oh, boy, I messed up. Um, I think it... I think uh, that I googled it was called okay it was about losing the Holy Spirit is what I googled now I know somebody has probably hit the stop button now um, again that's what God told me whether people want to like it or not um, so what I did it wasn't it was it was at least a year later that I ever googled whether you could lose the Holy Spirit or not. And yes, multiple places in the Old Testament I mean a couple of places in the Old Testament it happened. But again, I know why God told me we could lose the Holy Spirit even though you read about the sealing of the Holy Spirit. I still don't believe you know what it means. I still don't know a lot of people. I still don't believe what most people read in the Bible. They even know what it means. And I'm not going to give. I like how this in this video, this article I read that people give a lot of credit to theologians and people out here. I have changed. I have changed my thoughts on some things out here. Especially when it comes to Strong's Concordance as being a good thing to read. But again, at the end of the day, it's still man's word. At the end of the day, it's still man's word. It could have been inspired by God for somebody to do it. And I won't deny it. Just like I know what God has put on my heart to talk about. And in this video, if I recall, if you Google... Losing the Holy Spirit, if you go back, if you go down about, you go down one page on your cell phone and you tap on next or whatever, you know, to so it'll pull up more articles. There is a, a I think it's called Truth, Christian Truth Center, I think is the people that posted it up. And I think it's the very first article where they say, yes, you can lose the Holy Spirit. Everything before that says no. Now, I still believe that when most people read the Bible, they're still not in and they're still not getting full understanding. I still believe it. You know, a lot of people are jam up on their message, but as far as the whole society out here all around the world, I don't believe people have got full understanding. And yes, I could put myself in the same boat. But I but People should admit that they could be wrong about a lot of things. Yes, sealing the Holy Spirit is exactly what people will argue. And that's not even what this video is even about. Me even bringing this up is not even what this video is about. Okay? But I'm going to give an example and then I'm going to talk about something what I found. When I went to that site, I found something. Now... This is what I look at what's going on in this world. And whether you want to admit it, this is what I see. I've had, I've talked about a topic before. And this, I hope that I'm not confusing you when I jump back and forth all over my videos. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. I see flat earth. People talking about flat earth. 
I can go YouTube a video, all kinds of videos, and all of a sudden, in the comment section, you'll run across somebody that, that says, talking about flat earth, okay? And it has nothing at all to do with the topic of the video that's even being posted there. Well, I know exactly what these people want. They want an argument. I guarantee you there is no place in the Bible that refers back to flat earth. Nowhere. And all these people want is an argument. That is all they want. They want somebody to say, no, you're wrong. They All they want is an argument. So what does that cause? It caused division. And I know division is of Satan. Whether they want to admit, because I've witnessed so many Christians profess flat earth. But... I wanted to I want to show you the reason why I'm even making this video in the first place. So, and it's not even that that was just purely an example. Okay? <clears throat> so, I see a little I see a little you know, I do not agree 100% of what it talks about losing the Holy Spirit there. I know what God told me. And I'll never take man's word, and I'll never have nobody sit here and tell me that they even know what sealed by the Holy Spirit means in the first place. Unless somebody's got a good answer, and they better have a good answer. So, I see an article there. If you scroll down, this same website has other articles that they talk about. Now, before I go any further, oh boy, did I just forget. Before I go any further, this website says it's a non-denomination. But that doesn't solve everything in this world to say you're a non-denomination. Because again, I know why a lot of people go to non-denomination churches. And that is so they don't hear people preach of wrongs and rights what is wrong and what is right that is the reason why most people go to a non-denomination church so I see an article and I tap on it I'm not going to say this whole article is perfect but it makes 100% sense of what the argument was even of what it even talks about in the first place it says if you guys can scroll down and read this it talks about protestant heresies today for den for denominations and i think the reason why it's listed as a, a four like the number four is because evidently they've got more than one article about Protestant heresies. So I, I I sit there and I look. I didn't read the whole article, but this makes perfect sense. When I read that article, people are out here professing that they're God's chosen people. They're the chosen church. That God that Christ created this church. I know Christ didn't create denominations. And I know God. I know God and his word is against the denominations. Because it even tells you in the word that we are supposed to be in agreement with things. Especially if it's plain and simple understanding. So many people, their understanding is far away from the truth. I know right now, and I hate to sit here and do this because I, I, I really want to I really want to start doing the right thing and not talking about individuals and certain churches 
and denominations because I know it doesn't solve anything. It causes a lot of strife. It causes a lot of division. But I know most denominations aren't preaching the truth. And I'm telling you this, and I'll stand by this forever, that there is not one church, not one denomination, there's not one prayer, not one of them can save a person if they don't, if they don't ever choose to live in obedience. So it doesn't make no to make no difference what prayer, no matter what you want to believe in the word of God. If you're not going to live in obedience, then you're not even following God's word. You're living in rebellion. So I listen to what this article is about, and it's a prime example of Christianity today. Now, before I even talk any more about this article, do you know, and I know for a fact. That all these things, Satan followed right, above, right in America. And I'm giving America an example because it's, it's, it hasn't been around as long as a lot of these other nations have been around. But go and look at all these other nations and look at America. Satan followed right along. There, but there are people out here that have enough proof that these these, these, the way they build churches with these phallic symbols and all this stuff, that this is stuff that came from, I need a rock right now. <laughs> Don't make me go get a rock. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm sitting here reading this about denominations and where they are so wrong for us to be so divided. For us to be divided and for one person to sound like they're so much better than the other person. The Catholic Church believes it. The Most of the Baptist Church believes it. I haven't witnessed it in the Nazarene Church, but I've witnessed it in the big churches. I've witnessed it in uh, Jehovah's Witness as far as I'm concerned. They believe in God. They believe in Jesus. They're just far from the truth. And so are the majority of other denominations are far from the truth. And uh, Jehovah's Witness, uh, that Utah uh, organization in Utah, same thing. They all, and Seventh-day Adventists, they believe that they're only God's chosen church. Boasting in pride. But look at everyone else. I mean, I've never witnessed it in the Nazarene. And when I told my friend about the Nazarene church... He said that that sounds like the best church out there, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm sure there's a lot of them that boast and pride themselves. So, uh, and what does it cause? The same thing like talking about flat earth. Division. Complete division. That's exactly what I see in Christianity today. I mean, I am telling you. I have literally witnessed Baptists and Catholics like pure enemies against each other out here. And I'm not, I know not every Catholic believes it, and I know not every Baptist believes it. But how could you have hate? And that, that just shows that fruit is not bearing in them. Nope. Especially uh, Westboro. So, uh, all it is is causing division in this world. And I know that these churches, yes, people could be living for God in these churches. And they could be living for Christ and they could have the Holy Spirit. But not if they're preaching hate. Not if they're preaching strife or any other things that could possibly be wrong that God's against. I hope somebody made it this far into the video because, I mean, I hope that somebody didn't just stop the video when I said that God told me we could lose the Holy Spirit. But that's, you know, that's here and there. And I'm not trying to boast it or pride it again. I mean, I know what God showed me and I'll never go sway against it, man. I'll never sway against it. All I know is I'm not going to get caught up in a denomination or a faith out here. What I mean by faith, I'm talking about a, a certain way that somebody believes out here. I'm not. I'm not. You're, I'm not selling myself to none of y'all out there. I mean, the other day, I had some uh, Jehovah's Witness come on the front porch, and I could have sit here and been like a lot of Christians out here and sound like a rabid dog to them, and I'm not going to do it. 
I'm not going to fall for Satan's tricks. That's why I question how many people are out here actually living for God. Because you say something, you knock dust off your feet, you don't argue. I know right now you be nice and polite, and I should have sit here and said the truth. I should have sat here and said the truth that uh, I think Jesus Christ, oh, excuse me, I know for a fact Jesus Christ is God. But then there are Baptists out here that don't believe it either because they, they believe in the NIV vision, version, vision, New International Version that, that keeps that one scripture out. Jesus and uh, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one. I don't understand why they did that, but I mean, that's kind of shocking, isn't it? So, uh, but what does it cause out here? I mean, don't Muslims think that they're 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 that they're the true religion? How many people have lived as a Baptist or a Catholic that has become a uh, an Islam Islam? Even though I know the Catholic Church helped create the the Quran, and I know who the counterfeit is. Sure, sounds like the Bible, doesn't it? But I know who the counterfeit is. But I know a lot of people out here in their churches and their denominations and their faith are complete counterfeit. Not following the true word of God. Not all of it. And that's exactly why people out here argue one being better than the other. And none of, you know, I, I'll, I'll say it again. Yes, God made me a watchman. But I can sure live in sin and go to hell. And if you think that I'm sitting here saying that, ooh, a watchman is so beautiful and perfect, you're wrong. Fully wrong. I admitted that from day one. To all my friends when I was in New Mexico. But I know right now that majority of denominations are not living for God. I know that. And I've already said a lot of them. And I could sit here and say some more if I had a full list of them. But what does it cause? Christ didn't create the Catholic Church. And I guarantee you, if you're boasting in pride, and a lot of people are boasting in pride, even calling them themselves watchmen out here, I can tell you exactly people, but I'm not going to do it. Not when God has shown them the same thing he has shown me. No way. It'll be on him, it'll be on them in the end. They were doing something wrong, they did it. But I'm going to cover every part of this story. I'm going to cover rights and wrongs. I know what wrongs are are out here. I know what you don't do, and you uh, and the Holy Spirit will see. When I googled losing the Holy Spirit, it said depart. But I don't believe that the Holy Spirit completely departs anyone. It's just if the Holy Spirit is working in one or not. And these people that don't bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that means the Holy Spirit isn't working in them. For me to completely say depart would be for me to make it sound like the Holy Spirit is not with the person. But working in one, totally different. You're supposed to activate the Holy Spirit to work in your life. But when I did read about the Holy Spirit there, what did it say? The church, the congregation, the people, whatever. Not bearing the fruit. That's right. So, but division, that's exactly what's caused out here. For one to say they're better than the other, and then to get an argument going, and sound just like, well, I mean, heck, you might as well sound like an atheist. You might as well just deny God then, because it sounds like you're doing, doing the works of Satan. That's why... I need to quit sitting here saying people's names. But I'm not going to quit speaking against denominations. I know most of them are frauds. I know most people are not living for God, whether people like to admit it or not. I know I'm not going to wait till Sunday to repent for my sins. And I did find a beautiful article that through your walk with Christ, when you do something wrong, you're supposed to have a change of heart or a change of mind or confess your sin to God 
And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. And if that is works, like I said, like my other video, so be it. If it's not works, so be it. Uh-oh. Thanks a lot. You're okay. But, uh, you know, I, I, I can't. I cannot. I mean, I can't sit here and go against the word of God. I cannot. And I know that there's a scripture in the Bible that says we should all be together on this, on the word of God. But, hey, if people weren't going to get full understanding, if I wasn't going to read the Bible and get full understanding myself, it's no good. Absolutely no good. And I know when you read that, when you read that little document, that little piece of paper, when you go to a church, if you've never been to a church before, I know exactly what it's going to say. It's going to say, this is what we believe. But the Baptist faith or the Catholic faith or the or the Nazarene, the Pentecostal, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the I mean, you can you can find out this stuff online. And you know if it if it's against the word of God, it could have consequences. If it's the opposite of the word of God, there could be consequences behind it for your beliefs. You know, I still don't know what grieving the Holy Spirit means, but I know what God told me. And I'm not 100% on that scripture, on this little article in the first place. But I do know right now, uh, if you'll know them by their fruit, that means uh, you'll know if they've got the Holy Spirit or not. And if all you have to do is believe to have the Holy Spirit or to repent to have the Holy Spirit, well, it sounds like to me that you'll know them by their fruit. And if you know them by their fruit, you'll know if they've got the Holy Spirit working in their life or not. So it sounds like to me, if a person went in and all they had to do was believe and have faith, sounds like to me, then you would think that they would have the, they would be bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, but why aren't they? I know it's not bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit to sit here and say, I'm God's chosen people, even if it, even if it has, happens to be his God, his chosen people. To make it sound like one better than the other? No way, not today. I know who the Gentiles are. And just because we can be grafted in and we can be God's people too, doesn't mean, I mean, uh, uh, all I know is you'll know them by their fruit. And there's no use in having division out here because I know, again, who that is of. I think I've done enough in this video because I could sit here and do like my other videos and keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. I think I've done it enough. I mean, this is what's wrong with the church today and people don't want to snap out of it. We're supposed to be in all in agreement, but how can a person be in all in agreement? In agreement? How can anybody be in agreement that you can lose the Holy Spirit? I mean, things, I'm telling you this right now, not everything from the Old Testament is null and void because Christ came here. Nothing changed about sin that it will separate us. Nothing. And when hey, and, and I'll even I'll even say this, and I might as well end the video if I can, if I'm capable of ending this video without not talking about something else, and now I forgot. I'm telling you. What was I gonna say? Well, 
Again, I know Christ didn't want denominations. He wanted people in agreement and be living for him, not in division. And, uh, you know, I understand what, why people broke away from the Catholic Church. Hey, I'll just keep on going. I understand why people broke away from the Catholic Church. Nothing should be pushed on to anyone. No way. And, uh, but I don't know why people give credit to all these people that, that created their division. I mean, their, their denominations. I mean, that was on accident there. I don't know why people would put everything as if they were some God sent that God gave them a message. Again, I know for all these years, all these pe all these people, all these years, some were living in sin and some were doing so great for God. Today they preach, don't say the name Jesus. That's not the correct name. And I guess that everybody that 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 talked about Jesus, I guess were heretics in the past. Everybody went to hell for saying Jesus. And now everybody wants to say the correct name and look at all the correct names out here. Division. It does say Yahweh in the Bible, if I recall. I know who Yahweh is. I know who Elohim is. I know who our Elohim is. Yahweh, Yeshua, and I'm thinking that, that they would be the same amount of letters in the name. One wouldn't have nine letters and one would have eight letters. But we can cause all the division in the world of who, who God's true name is, and I know exactly who all these people are working for, just like the professing Christians say hate Muslims because of what they believe. I don't know how many Christians I've witnessed say that you got to believe in flat earth or that it's something important. It's not nothing important whatsoever. It's not nothing important to sit here and it's, it's, it's of a, a it's a utmost important to us all getting along and loving one another and not being hypocrites on the worldwide internet created by CERN destroying everything and, and and people just want to praise a worldwide center net I don't know how many professing Christians I see that call themselves professing Christians that cuss like a sailor I've done it before in videos and and uh, I, I, I'm not, I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I know it's wrong no matter what. Just like watching this TV is wrong. Leading our mind astray. I mean, you can listen to enough profanity on TV today. You can listen to listen to talk about enough sex out here on TV today and not even be watching pornography. You can get it in your little 30 to hour episodes every day. This world is gone and until people recognize that most of the people that are around them and their denominations they could even be gone themselves. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's ever going to get any better and I, I really doubt it. Because oh, somebody will think I'm talking in this video about hate. I've covered every end. Even if you don't even if you're a non-denomination you can't say you're any better. Especially when you tell someone that you went to a church because they said, oh, it's okay. No, you, you, you won't go to hell if you smoke marijuana, get high, do all these do, don'ts in the Bible. There's nothing wrong with it. Huh? 
Well, I forgot to even know what to name this video now. Yeah, that's enough of this video.